Alright, I'm currently wearing all my heaviest stuff. Backpack is filled. It's um it's like 10, but going to the tram station right now. And then I will be off. I'm deciding to make a video because this will be a crazy trip and it's somewhere I've always wanted to go when I'm studying abroad right now in Italy, so it should be fun. I just landed in Amsterdam. My flight plan's a little weird. I have two layovers, and I have a 20 hour layover here in Amsterdam. So I thought I may as well like, go explore the city. So my flight leaves, it's like mm, 3 p.m. right now. My flight leaves tomorrow morning at 10. So I have basically like a night just to explore Amsterdam. Okay, I made it to Amsterdam, checked into my hostel. Uh, it's a little rainy right now, but the city is really cool. There's like tons of public transportation. Uh, I just got like the day pass. So it's like 4.30 right now, and I'm gonna just try to hit as many things as possible right now. All right, it's currently 7.30 in the morning. I'm walking to the bus station right now to hop on my flight to Copenhagen. And then from Copenhagen, I go to the Faroe Islands. Okay, just made it to Copenhagen and I have a flight that literally leaves in 20 minutes. I made it. I'm looking for my rental car right now. Yeah, as soon as I get in, I just got a SIM card and then I'm starting hiking. Uh, I have my hiking backpack now, my bag that was in this bigger bag, and then my jackets, coats. Uh, I brought my speaker for hiking. Gotta, you know, have the essentials, of course. I haven't driven in like three months, so this should be fun. Okay, I just made it to my first place and it is so windy. You will not be able to hear me outside, but watch. Got my groceries for the week. Just got like a bunch of peanut butter and granola bars and stuff like that. The sun is down on night one, so I'm gonna go to my Airbnb right now. I just got to my hotel Airbnb kind of. I have to catch a ferry tomorrow, so. All right, I just woke up. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I leave in 30 minutes. Got the hiking bag with speakers, some snacks in there. And then got the food bag with an extra pair of everything in case I get super wet. I think we're good to go. It's currently 8.30 and 
I thought the ferry was leaving at 8.45, but turns out it leaves at 1 p.m. So I have like three hours to kill now. So I'm gonna find somewhere to drive and do something. Okay, I made it back. It is about 1 p.m. now and I'm here for the ferry. All right, just made it off the ferry, and now I'm on my way to the hike, finally. It's been a long time coming, but this, this is supposed to be a really cool one, so I'm excited. Look at this cute little town I found. made it to the hike and this place is insane there's like no houses that I'm in this giant valley and well I do have to walk through that house so hopefully that person is okay with that Okay, I just got done with that hike and like my face is frozen, my hands are frozen. I went, uh, I can't flip the camera, but all the way to that like little ridge up there. For a second I thought I was lost because the trail kind of like, there's like a landslide and there's no more road. And I eventually got to the, like the wooden bridge and there was no way I was crossing the wooden bridge. It was way too windy. Now I'm going to go to the southern part of the island. Well, since I basically completed everything I wanted to do on this island today, um, I heard that you can see the northern lights tonight, like I was talking about earlier. So I drove out into the middle of kind of nowhere. It's dark and I'm gonna turn off all the lights and just see if I can see anything. <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> Taxi home. Made it back, it's about midnight. So a little later than I expected, but yeah, just gonna go straight home, go to bed. Gotta be up at like 7 a.m. for the next hike tomorrow. Okay, so it's about 8 a.m. And I thought the weather was supposed to be good today. No rain in the forecast, but I wake up and I see this. It's snowing right now, but you know, it's not a bad thing. You know, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I just got to the trailhead. It's 9.20. I'm just in this valley right now. So this should be um, a fun hike. And here is the beginning of the trail, little trail thing. And let's begin. Also, so far, including this hike, I have not seen a single other car or person on any of the trailheads or on the trails at all. So it's a little weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be like the most popular one on the island. I didn't see a single car, so we'll see why. Wow, 
Okay, well, I have to pretty much go up that, but I don't think that's a good idea considering I don't have snowshoes and I keep falling down and I don't want to fall down the mountain. So, I'm ending this hike. It sucks. I was thinking back on what I said earlier, like, oh, I wonder why I haven't seen anyone on any of the hikes I'm going to, like any of the cars. Uh, I think this was the reason why. Okay, now at the secondary hike. Now I'm on my way to another hike, kind of. It's more of like a lookout point. All right, I'm at the last hike I will be doing today. I was actually gonna do this one tomorrow at like seven in the morning, but I had extra time and I would rather not wake up at 7 a.m. So this is actually the hike that I saw online that I first ever saw of like the Faroe Islands. So it's like the, the reason why I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then I started to look it up. Uh, so this is what, this is a town, there'll be a better view, but there's just like a massive mountain right there that sticks up in the middle of this little town. And I thought it looked really cool. So I looked it up, found the Faroe Islands, and now I'm here. On the way up, the uh, the mountain disappeared, and there seems to be a lot of snow right now. So, looks like the weather might turn on me, but I'm gonna keep going up. It's the worst that could happen. Looking back, I see these dudes, and he doesn't look too happy to see me. <laughs> My phone says it's 22 degrees out, but uh, still fun. Now I'm just gonna go back home and chill for the rest of the day. I've just entered an underground tunnel, and it is the only one in the world that is three separate tunnels that converge under water um, and there's like a roundabout. All right, I just woke up. It is 7 a.m. and it is my last hiking day. So today I'm trying to see this lighthouse. It's not snowing, which is good, so We'll see if I can go see it. I have to catch a ferry at 10 a.m. So that's why I'm up so early. So I'm in the line for the ferry. I just made it and the sun is coming out. So this is good news. It stopped snowing. So hopefully I'll be good for my hike. I heard that something I have to try here in the Faroe Islands was a gas station hot dog. Apparently they're really good. So I'm going to get one. The gas station conveniently right next to the ferry stop. So I'll let you know how it is. 
The dog has been acquired. I'm gonna eat this now. Uh, um, it was pretty good. Uh, I don't think it stands up to Costco, but it's a pretty good hot dog. Found some fellow hikers. Oh, uh, look at this view. This is insane. relative path. You know, there's a snowstorm coming in right there, so I'm trying to beat it before it hits again. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm heading back to catch the 2 p.m. ferry. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving today. Here's the weather. All packed, but my flight just got delayed two hours because it's like blowing sideways outside. I just found out I can open this window, so. Oh, whoa. What? Here, I don't know if you can see. Okay, within like five minutes of me recording that, my flight just got delayed again. to the airport and I'll be here for the next six hours just chilling watching movies and stuff uh, until I take off <laughs> <laughs> 